So this evening I wanted to see if I can get another bit of uh, quote-unquote high-tech working on um, this cooler build. So what you see there is a C6 Corvette uh, coolant fan. Ignore all this wiring. This is just uh, for demonstration purposes only, sort of proof of concept. The C6 fan, you see that box down there, that silver thing? That is a C6 fan controller. So there's the plug. Uh, that comes with the fan. This is a Dorman fan. It comes with uh, the little wiring harness. So the red and black wires are power and ground, obviously. Those go directly to the controller and then power the fan. The other little wire is off the Holly auxiliary input-output plug. So the Holly comes with this plug. Actually, you have to buy this separate harness. But um, I picked one of the wires there, and according to this table, um, the holly, if you can read that, um, let's see here, there we go. So I chose the gray and black wire, which is pin B10. So if you look down here for outputs, you'll see that one of the options for that pin is uh, PWM negative. Okay, so if you look up there, the P pin B10 um, that is one of the things that it can be configured as. So now onto the Holly table here, and let's see if I can show this. So this is in the um, ECU hard, um, configuration table. So I configured that pin to work as a negative um, PWE output. So let's see if I can show you that. So outputs, you see right there, I named them PW, PWM fan. You select the type, um, that's the J1 is the connector, B10 is the pin, enabled. Okay, when we click configure, we're brought to this table. So sensor input trigger, in this case, we're choosing uh, coolant ten sensor, and basically this output will function anytime the coolant temp sensor is above um, zero degrees Fahrenheit. So then, we go here to the pulse width modulated setup and it brings up a table. So using, I apologize for these, uh, there we go. So using this configuration, the Corvette um, fan controller, you need to select fixed uh, type, 128 hertz frequency. So the table values that we enter here will be um, duty cycle. And just for demonstration purposes, I have coolant temp sensor on the y-axis and RPM um, down on the bottom, on the x-axis, okay? So if you look, you see our current um, temperature sense, temp CTS is showing 78 degrees. So it's going to be looking at these two cells right here. So right now I have them set to zero and you don't hear the fan running. So let's change that. Let's turn that up to 10%, okay, and then let's go down and do the 60 degree one. So 80 and 60, we'll set that at 10% as well, okay. So once you set, do that, then you sync it up with the ECU. Do you hear that fan running very softly? Okay, you can sort of see the fan moving there, kind of turning slowly, so it's running at 10% duty cycle there. All right, just to demonstrate how well this works, so let's take those zeros, or that 10%, and let's change that to 75%. Okay, again, we'll send to ECU. Voila. Now that fan is running at 75 percent. So let's go back here. 
back to these two cells. We'll set them to 25. cycles down to 25 percent. So let's go back here. Let's put that back to zero. fan is completely shut off. So the idea here is that once this thing is fully configured, um, the, the, um, the x-axis is going to actually going to be vehicle speed. So obviously the fan doesn't need to run if the car is moving quickly down the highway. So this table will be populated with values anywhere from 10 to 90 percent uh, to vary the speed of the fan um, according to both temperature and the speed of the vehicle just like most new cars are configured. So all this can be easily done with the uh, Holland Dominator ECU that has the fully programmable um, inputs and outputs. Thanks for listening.